Hey YouTube, I'm back with another Money Bouquet video and this one is for graduation, of course. So we have some green paper from Amazon linked in the description below on my Amazon storefront. Rocks, Dollar Tree. I already spray painted my can. Dollar Tree. The phone block because we're doing a $50 one. Dollar Tree. Check the sizes. Check this. Oh, I spray painted it. Sorry. Paper, Walmart. And my graduation hat from Dollar Tree. So let's get into it. How y'all doing today? So today we're doing a fifty dollar bouquet, and of course we're gonna start with the centerpiece, which is five one dollar bills. Okay, two, three, four, five. Just like that, just like that. A piece of tape at the top and another at the bottom. I got my ring like high up today. Proud of myself. All right. Piece of tape at the top and one at the bottom. So this is my centerpiece. And we're gonna place it directly in the middle of the phone. And again, this is a $50 bouquet that I'm doing. So with the $50, it's four rows, four rows and four pieces of paper. So it's five. I already counted them, so I don't know. It's just like a habit for me to count them again as I go. But I do make sure I count it twice before I actually start. And on each row, of course, you go down. You get lower and lower. On each row, that's two rows. That's two rows. So now the third one. Just go down and down. And again, however many rows you do, that's how many pieces of paper you use. I get those questions a lot on how many pieces of paper you should do for each bouquet. But honestly, it's however many rows you do. That's how many pieces of paper that you'll use. That's it, that's all. But once you get it, like, it's real, real easy. And I don't mind helping y'all at all. So if you have questions, please let me know. Also, if you like one-on-one, -on -one, not a one-on-one -on -one video, but just like me explaining to you like one-on-one, -on -one, just uh, follow one of my social media accounts that's linked in the description below, and I'll like help you. A few people did reach out to me on Instagram, and I helped them. So, you know, so I won't like do a, a long video, but I'll show you like a quick one too. That's the third row. So, one more row, and we're done. Yeah, so any questions, please feel free to ask. I have no problem with helping. We'll keep each other going. I have so many graduation bouquets that I have to do. So I'm starting early. Like the people that already started paying, I already started. They don't need them until next week. No, I don't want to be behind. So I'm gonna go ahead and start early. 
And um, I did have a few people like they have spaces when wrapping a bouquet. If you have spaces, you're not pushing it close together. That's the only thing. Like you have to make sure they touch like this. They have to touch, not like this. They have to touch when you wrap them. Other than that, you will have spaces. And I also did a video on how to um place your bills. I did do a video on that. Whoa. How I have three extra? Well, that never happened before. Wait a minute, let me count. No, that never happened before. Okay. I counted and I did do 17. No, it was. What it was? I think it was 18 on this row and it was supposed to have been 20. So, no worries. I'm just going to squeeze them in. That never happened before. I was shocked. <laughs> I was real shocked about that one. So I'm just going to squeeze them in. That's all. Wow, that was new. But, um, like I said, that was new. That never happened before. So, I mean, I don't know what to say. But I know it's five. When you do a fifty dollar money buffet, it's five, ten, fifteen, and twenty. So you just add five on each row. Let me just put this in here. Nope. I don't know where to put it. Mm -hmm. Let me put it here. Yo, that never happened. Okay, so that's four rows. But please remember, I don't know what happened with this one, but please remember, when you do a $50 money bouquet, it's five on the first row, 10 on the second, 15 on the third, 20 on the fourth. I just don't know what I did wrong this time. But it, I made it work. <laughs> this is $50. Turn it upside down. Make sure they don't fall out. If they fall out, all you have to do is push the sticks in further in the foam. That's all. Okay, now let's do the rib. Nope, let's do the paper. Never had this paper, this color paper before. This is my first time having this color in. I think I like it. I think I like it. I also got this paper from Amazon, of course. I will link it in my description box below on my Amazon storefront if you would like to purchase it. So I did. Whoa. Oh, it's too, it's different. It don't have, it's not double-sided like my other ones. My other ones is like gold on both sides. This is just gold on the front. Okay, I'm different, but I did four rows with the bills, so now I'm just gonna do four pieces of paper. So, four rows, four pieces of paper with the bouquet. Of course, it's four point oh, double sided tape, Dollar Tree. Don't forget your double sided tape. Uh -oh. Okay. Now we start from the right corner. This one don't even have a second line. Okay, this paper is different, so let's hope it, it do what it's supposed to do. So, uh, the right corner go in the center. Is it warm? Okay. It feels thicker than the kind of paper I'm used to getting. 
Okay, y'all, let's see. Okay, and then we just, this line, cross it over. So this end, can go in the middle, directly over. See, I don't like this. Because now I don't have gold on this side. I don't have gold right here. I don't like it. It's gonna make my bouquet look weird. Not weird, but. Okay, look how they look like. You don't you got gold right here but no gold right here. That's crazy. I don't like this. And it feels thicker. I'ma still link it in my Amazon storefront, but this paper is a no for me. It feels thicker and it's I don't like how it don't have gold on both sides. So I'm just going to throw my bouquet off a little. Not too much. I mean, it'll still be cute, but I like the gold trimming all the way around. So I know when I wrap it, one side is going to be like messed up. Being that it's not the gold trimming on each side. Look, y'all. Like, what? Why would y'all do that? And the paper look bigger? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I got off topic. I'm sorry. I mean, I didn't get off, to off topic, but the paper is throwing me out. So, the right end, start from the right end, and you go directly in the center, following the line. The line is your guide. Okay. And this line is your guide to crossing this side in the center like that, okay? So this line, you just cross it right on over like that. Y'all see it? So this line is your guide to cross it that way. The other side of the tape. This paper kind of feel like Christmas wrapping paper a little bit. Just a little thicker. It, it's real thick. See, my other paper don't do this for real. This, um, it's really throwing me down. Oh, I'm sorry. Right in. Straight in the center. You always want to have, well, you will have four points. This line is your guide. Cross it straight over from here to here. Another side of tape. And we're done. That's all four pieces of paper. Again, I will link this paper in my Amazon store card, even though I don't like it because it's only gold on one side. I mean, I still have to make it work. That looks so crazy. Y'all look. Why would they do this? <sighs> okay, but this is the paper. And like I said, I will link it in Amazon. I mean, in my description below on my Amazon storefront. If you guys want to purchase. And again, it do feel different from the paper that I'm used to using. It feel more heavier. It's, I think it's wider. And um, I don't like how it's not gold. Like, it's only gold on one side. So it's like gold on the front, but not gold on the back. So that's why it's making it look like it's gold over here and not no gold over there. But we gonna make it work, so. Doesn't know, y'all wanna know something really, really funny? I actually did a cricket video for y'all cause y'all was asking me for it and nobody watched it. Nobody, I did two. I did two cricket videos and nobody watched it. That hurt my heart. Cause I took my time and I explained everything to y'all. 
And I think, I'm not gonna lie, I think it was only like 80 something people watched the video. That hurt my heart. I'm gonna just do congratulations. So, if y'all wanna learn how to use the Cricut, it's posted and linked under each video, okay? Can y'all please go watch it? I took my time with that one. I really, really did. So let me show y'all how to um, measure the bouquet with the ribbon. All right. Just like this. What? No, no, no. Hold on, y'all. I need some tape. If your mat uh stop sticking like mine, you can get tape if you want to and just tape the edges. Or you could just get a new mat. I mean I have new mats, but I'm not gonna lie, I'ma just keep using mine until I can't use them no more. I know uh the cheapest way is on Tingle. You get like three mats for like seven. Seven dollars and something because in the store you get one mat for like fourteen dollars, twelve dollars, something like that. So Timo is the cheapest way for the mats. But again, I did do two Cricut videos, beginner friendly on how to one is one of them is how to Bluetooth from your phone to the Cricut, and the other one is just the whole process on how to use the Cricut. So if y'all can, can y'all please go check out my videos? Let me know how y'all feel about them. Let me know what else you need to know or you want to know about the Cricut. And I will help. So right now it's just cutting the congratulations that I have. It's just cutting. that video like two or three weeks ago and i just look at it every day like wow i really don't have no viewers on these videos and i'm showing y'all how to work the cricket machine but hey it's okay it's okay it's not okay <laughs> but it's okay it's almost done y'all y'all uh wait let's stop it okay it's done now y'all see it congratulations i do reuse my tape too y'all i do and can y'all see the congratulations So I'm just cut around the bottom what I'm not using and I'm gonna just pick it. I showed y'all how to do all of this on my cricket friendly video. I love this front, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. For this part, y'all, it have a, a, I call it a picker, of course. It have one, but I just, I'm so used to doing it, I don't use it. I just pick it with my nails. Oh, yeah, I can't even see. Oh, no, yeah, I see. And this is my congratulations that's going on. 
the ribbon. Oh wait, one more piece. Okay. And this is going on the ribbon. I love this one so much. Okay, let's get into the next step. Handheld press by Cricut. I think I got this from Michaels, I want to say. But this is what it is. This is how it looks. They have th ooh, three different settings on it. I put mine at the top. So one, two, three. And when it turns green, that's when it's hot and you can start pressing it on your ribbon. Okay? I sounded so professional just then, okay? But no, for, and this the little tray you sit in. So it won't burn. Nothing is sitting in this little tray. And when it turns green, that's when we start pressing. But you will need this if you want to make a ribbon. Also, y'all, if y'all need me to make y'all ribbons, I will make the ribbons and send them to you. My shipping is only $9. I will make your ribs. However you want the ribbon, I will offer that service. So my social media accounts are linked below. My name on everything is Lexis King, L-E-X-U-S, Lexis King or Lex Deshaun, L-E, three X's, Deshaun, D-A-S-H-A-W-N. So there's Lexus King, L-E-X-U-S, or Lex Deshaun, L-E-X-X-X, D-A-S-H-A-W-N. I will make y'all ribbons for y'all. I have no problem with that. Just please contact me on either one of my social media sites, and we go from there. Also, it's linked in the description below all my social media my twitter snapchat facebook instagram it's all linked below the handheld is hot y'all see it's green okay so now i use my table to make sure it's like even on both sides so i can kind of visualize my center of the ribbon so i just place it directly in the middle right there congratulations and we just press it on and i normally go over mine three to four times of course but you know you don't have to push on it real hard you really don't But just make sure it's stuck on the ribbon. So that's why I say I go over mine three to four times. Just to make sure it's on the ribbon all the way. And the kind of vinyl I use is cool pill. So like it's hot right now. And I have to wait maybe a few seconds before I can peel it off. And I went over there more than four times, but it's okay. So, now I'm going to let it cool down before I peel it off. Now I peel it off. Whoa. Y'all see that? You see how it's coming off? So just put it back down and go over that again. That's why I say you go over it three to four times to make sure it's on the ribbon and make sure it's stuck on the ribbon. No worries at all. Okay, now I'm gonna let it cool and peel it off again. Perfect. It's on. Okay. And now I'm gonna go over it again just to make sure it's extra, extra. I guess it's secured. Just go over it again. I do this like if I'm making t-shirts too, I always go over it to be on the safe side. Just like an iron. 
Somebody asked me, can you do this with an iron? But honestly, I don't know. I would I would believe so because, I mean, this is like an iron, a mini heat press. So, I believe so. Okay, so now we're done with the ribbon. Now, let's wrap it around the bouquet. What I got today. I was running low in my last video. It's It was 2000 for like $6 from Amazon. Linked in the, um, hold on, y'all. Is it tight? Oh, it's tight. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's try this again. Ooh. Look at that. 2000 for $6. Amazon. It's linked in my description below on my Amazon storefront if y'all want them. You can't beat that. 2000 for $6. Yeah, it's going to last a long time. Click the link in my bio. Okay. So now let's wrap it. One of them fell in here too. Okay, there you go. So. When you wrap it. We're starting from, turn it over. Wait a minute. I'm doing it wrong, okay. Turn the ribbon this way. Okay, the bouquet. So I'm gonna start here in the middle. And then I'm going to grab this one and bring it on top of it. Oh, that was actually perfect on the... No. See, look, I got to scoot it over. Wait, no. Okay, I'm going to scoot it over just a little bit. Okay. Now, let's see. That's perfect. It's perfect. And I'm going to stick two pins in it. One at the top. And one at the bottom. To secure both sides of the ribbon. It should look like that. And when you turn it over, there you go. So that's how it should look. All the way around. The bouquet. Yeah. Now I'm gonna wrap it. So I have four pieces of paper, four rolls. So I'm gonna use four of my stick pins to wrap around each one. And put this down. So when you wrap, I really don't. I'm gonna stop saying it. So I'm gonna start here. Right on top of the ribbon. And stick it in there like that. Just holding barely. Holding a little tip. Okay. Do each side the same way. It's four, so I'm going to do one here, one here, one here, right here. Like a plus sign. That's how I do mine. Make it look like a plus sign. Uh -oh. So four rows is four pieces of paper with a $50 money bouquet. It to me how I do mine is a medium. All right, and the last one here. So it should look like this. When you done. All right. Now we tape and staple. I'm gonna show y'all how to do that. So wherever. Let me scoop this up. Wherever you tape it, that'll be 
where you stifle it. And um like yeah. First off, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna just go ahead and do it. So whenever you type it, that's where you staple it. And always remember, your points matter. Please remember your points matter. Meaning, however you take the paper, that's how it'll look once you flip it over. So you want every point to show. Every point to show. Also, y'all, I have videos on how to, like, just wrap the paper. Only on how to wrap the paper. If y'all want to check it out. How to wrap the paper. And if y'all want me to do other videos on how to wrap the paper. I have a, quite a few, but I don't mind doing them again. I don't mind at all. I just hope this be right when I flip it over. Being that only one side is gold. I just really hope it's right. But hey, we'll see. And we'll work with it. Okay, you always want to leave one side open simply because if you have space in the middle of your bouquet, in the middle of your bouquet, you can always pull it tight if you have space in the middle. So you always want to leave this one open. But when you flip your bouquet, you just hold each side that you left open and just flip it like that. Y'all, it don't look bad. Okay, I'm sorry, um, people on Amazon, it was bothering me at first, but it don't look bad. Okay, y'all don't laugh either. I thought it was gonna look horrible being that only one side was, but it's cute. Okay, I'm happy now. I was nervous about this paper at first. But we got it together. Okay. So the last part, I'm going to just staple it together. Y'all, I'm happy for real. Because I was not feeling it at first, y'all. I was like, what? But um, I had told y'all I'm still going to link this paper. I'm still going to link this paper in the description below. It came out actually cute. Like, I like it. I really do like it. It's not bad. Now, let's decorate it. I got these from Amazon. I want to put these in the description below as well. That's super cute. Amazon. Those are going to be linked below. I think I want to do it like to the side a little bit. I don't know. I don't know how I want to place it just yet. I think I am going to do it to the side because I don't want it directly in the front. Okay. So I'm going to use double sided tape. And get two little pieces of the double sided tape. Piece of tape here. Come on. Oh, it don't want to stick. Okay, cool, cool. 
Okay, here you go. And I'm gonna put another one. Oh, I'm sorry. And I'm gonna put another one at the back. And just do it like this. One piece here. And the other piece. And I'm taping on this one dollar bill. And I want it to sit just like that. Did it stick? No. I like that yeah that's cute with the hat i have well it have two i don't know if y'all can see it it have two lines on the side where i could take my stick to so well i'm actually hot glue it to the stick i'm not gonna use a lot of hot glue just so it stick on both sides. Well, I mean, just oh, just so it can stick. And I'm gonna stick it right on the side. Okay, y'all see? Wait. Just stick it along the um. Y'all can't really see, but it's already like a little plastic. Like this, it's like that on the inside as well. So I just stuck it on that. And I'm going to do the other side the same way. The same exact way. And I'm going to just stick it on this side. Wait, I want to directly across from it. Okay, just like that. So that's how both of them look on the inside. I don't know why I start whispering when, <laughs> when I'm really, really concentrating. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to just let that dry. Yeah, I got this hat from... Um, the Dollar Tree. It came from the Dollar Tree. So it's dry on the inside. And I can stick it in the bouquet. So it look like this. I'm just going to pinch them together. And put them... I don't want it too far back, but I don't want it too close up either. I want it to stand straight up. It's stuck on something, so I can't put it there. Okay. Stuck on something again. <laughs> again. Okay. Now. Just like that. Okay. I got these from Michaels. It's just some stickers that I'm gonna stick around the bouquet just to make it look more, I don't know, cute. <laughs> I want more graduation to it. So I'm gonna just use these stickers to stick around. I'm not going to use a lot. Like this will play 2024. So I'm going to use the 2024. And I'm going to just stick it here. 2024. Um, We got a head. We got that. I'm going to do a star. I'm going to do a Can y'all see? Barely. Okay, I'm going to do a star on this one. Um, we did 2024. Dread. Congratulations. Okay, we're going to do this one. 
I'm just mixing them up. No, I'm going to do dream big. I want to do dream big. That's super cute. Dream big. Okay, I'm going to do another star. And I'm only doing them, I'm skipping. Like doing the ones that don't have the gold trimming around. So, and then I'm going to do class of 2024. Gray, we already got gray. I'm going to do this one. Which I think too big. No, okay, I'll do this one. Yeah, I already did class of 2024. I did okay, so I'm gonna just do this one. Uh oh, I need another glue stick. It's the can, you put glue all at the bottom of it, all around the bottom of the can. It should look like that. Then you get your paper. I'm gonna do it this way. Put it directly in the middle and push down. Push all the way down on it. Make sure it's stuck to the bottom of the can. Put trimming of it. Wait, let me get the bouquet first. All right, so you just put the glue around the trimming of it two or three times to go around. You need another stick of glue. It just goes so fast. <laughs> it goes so fast. Okay, I'm gonna go around one more time. My hot glue not melted all the way, so. The stick not melted all the way. Okay. So I went around three times. Now, I'm just gonna put the bouquet on top. Put the bouquet directly in the center of it. So the hot glue and the foam is touching each other. The hot glue, you want it to get stuck on the foam. You push it all the way down. Make sure it's super, super flat on each side. All the way around. y'all think in the comments below make sure y'all like comment and subscribe if y'all have any questions on how to do anything please let me know and i will be sure to help thanks for watching and if you're graduating in 2024 congratulations to all graduates